Up a little more with the blues. Miss, uh, 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 move just a little forward, please. That's fine. All set, Lois? Okay. Hold it, please. That's fine. Uh, we'll do the beach scenes for Crothers Sun Oil next. Tell Miss, uh, who's this to get ready? Beach scenes next, Margie. I heard. If this were really water, I'd shove him in it. What's wrong? What's wrong? Mr. Hot and Cold, that's what's wrong. I thought he sort of liked me when he came over to my table in the restaurant and asked me if I'd like to be a model for him. But he's been making pictures of me for two whole days and he can't even remember my name. <laughs> that's just Cleve's way. You're really his favorite model. His favorite anonymous model. Better get ready, honey. Hi, Margie. Gee, I'm sure glad you're on this assignment, too. Hello, Hercules. And we're doing some beach scenes together. Yeah, and you're the girl I'd like most to be a beachcomber with. Thanks. I needed that. You know, Margie, we could work up a swell act together. Acrobatics and weightlifting. I know all the muscle rackets. And with your brains and my beauty, we'd be a sensation. Well, my dear father doesn't even know I'm doing this. If I went into an act, he'd blow a gasket. It's perfectly decent. We just stand there and let the people gaze at us. Listen, Margie, I've got to deal with Stacy's department store. Come on, you two. Margie, get changed. Bonjour, monsieur. Everything is arranged. Good, I'll talk to you about it later. Oh, no, we must talk now. I have an appointment with the bankers who are to finance me. Okay. You have selected the young lady to model the Duval creations? Yes. She must be very chic. Able to show my clothes so the Duval new look will sweep America from ocean to ocean. I picked the right girl. The young lady over there. Oh, magnifique. Excellent. Yes, and she photographs very well. Now, she must sign this contract for the year exclusively. She can appear for no other advertisement without permission. The Duval new look girl must never model for a rival firm. Lois will take care of the details. Very good. I shall inform my bankers that we're ready to go ahead. The dresses have arrived. Lois said they came in yesterday. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. Of course, my friend, of course. Do you have some photographs of the young lady? Lois will give you some on your way out. Very good, excellent, and au revoir. Worried. <laughs> Situation normal. It's no joking matter. We've never gone into a deal like this before. It's downright risky. Well, everything's risky. But it's a good bet that when the great Deval announces a new Paris fashion, the women of America will protest violently and buy enthusiastically. But it's out of our field. All right, then let some other syndicate put up the backing and take in the profit. Don't be so hasty. It's just that I don't like the idea of risking our money on a venture that caters to a woman's vanity. How about making money catering to a woman's vanity? That's different. Well, at least we haven't got Margie to worry about this time. That is, I hope we don't. Oh, stop worrying, Mr. Honeywell. I haven't breathed a word of this to Margie. She doesn't even know that we've ever heard of Deval. Yes? I tell him to come right in. It's Deval. Gentlemen, I bid you good day. Won't you sit down? Merci. Our affairs might satisfactorily. Is that not so? As soon as you deposit all the papers, Monsieur Duval, we will put your full financing in escrow. My lawyers will have everything ready for you this afternoon. Would you gentlemen care to have a look at my new dress creations? <laughs> no. Wouldn't tell me anything if I did. He's the ladies' man in the firm. The samples are at the Cleve Harrison studio. Mr. Harrison is making all our advertising photographs. Oh, Harrison. Oh, yes, he's a good man. I've heard of his work. He has selected the young lady to be the Duval New Look girl. Would you like to see her picture? Oh, yes, I certainly would. Just a minute. All right, I pay you a good salary and whatever bonuses you can gouge out of me for your attention to business, which doesn't include dreaming about pretty models. But it would it take a moment. Oh, never mind. It's not worth arguing about. But you gentlemen will visit the studio and inspect my new creations. Oh, yes, yes. We'll drop in right after lunch. <laughs> and here's to a happy and profitable association. Merci, monsieur. Au revoir, monsieur. I'll sortir. <laughs> 
Those Duval gowns really do something for you. Well, I mean, you don't do so bad for them either. <laughs> Thanks. You see, you didn't think you were making any impression on Cleve, yet he picked you to be the Duval new look girl. I guess I was doing better than I realized. You know, there really isn't much use in my signing that contract. When my father finds out what I'm doing, I'll probably have to quit. Let's worry about that when we come to it. The important point is Mr. Duval insists that you model only for him. Marty, think over that thing I asked you. Oh, I can't possibly do it, Hercules. Well, think it over anyway. Lois, hurry it up, will you? We need Miss Watson in the nightclub set. Temper, temper. I'll tear it up. I swear one more Miss Whatsits or her arm or who's is, and I'll crown that man. Now, Margie, he did pick you for the job, didn't he? Now, he won't even remember that by tomorrow. Will you please come over here, Miss Thingamabob? The set is all lit and waiting for you. Thingamabob? That did it. Mr. Harrison. Uh huh? Do you know who I am? Oh, come on now. This is no time for 20 questions. Lois, where are the two models for the Distinguished Gentleman series? We were going to make those shots while we had the nightclub set lit. The agency said they'll be here any minute. Oh, they should have been here half an hour ago. What's the matter with everybody today? Do I have to remember everything? Now, what was it you wanted? There wouldn't be any use after that. Oh, please. Your two distinguished gentlemen just came in. Oh. I'm Mr. Honeywell. This gentleman and I... Well, it's come... about time you two got here. But you won't do. You're all wrong. You're a good type. In fact, you're very good. But why did they send him? There must be some misunderstanding. My name is Vern Albright, and this is oh, Mr. Honeywell. Oh, look, gentlemen, we're wasting time. What difference does it make what your names are? Give them to my secretary when we're finished. She takes care of the checks. Checks? Certainly. We always pay by check. I won't be able to use you, but we'll pay for your time. Let's go. I'm behind schedule already. Well, wait a minute. Do you think we're photographers' models? Well, what do you think you are? We know what we are. We're investment bankers arranging Mr. Duval's financing for him. Oh, I'm sorry. I was expecting two models with a Distinguished Gentleman series, and I thought you were them. I am sorry. Oh, that's all right. We just dropped up to see Duval's dresses. Of course. Lois will show them to you. Uh, Miss Watson's had one on here a minute ago. Where'd that girl go? Well, she'll be back in a minute. You know, I really am sorry you're not a model. I'd love to have used you. You're a fine-looking type. Do you really think so? Yes, and you're very photogenic. Well, it's nice of you to say so. I don't suppose you'd... No, of course you wouldn't. You don't suppose I'd what? Oh, forget it. Just a suggestion I was going to make. Oh, go ahead and make it. Uh, I'd better not. Oh, now, look here. I'm an older man than you are. Take my advice. When you've got something to say, come right out and say it. Well, I was only going to suggest that you pose for the Distinguished Gentleman series. All right, I will. I mean, uh, all right, I will. You see, there was nothing to be frightened of, was there? No. He certainly bullied you into agreeing. Please, you are not the Distinguished Gentleman type. No. Now, if you'll just come over here with me, please. This won't take very long. If you'll sit at the table, Mr., uh... Uh, and look as if you're watching the floor show. I'll make the shot fast. Uh, how's this? It's sickening. Oh, you're just jealous. Now take your pose. Hold it, please. Thank you. I'd like to get a couple more. Oh, sure. <laughs> Gee, I wish Margie could see me now. <laughs> Speaking of Margie, what's she up to these days? I haven't seen her in weeks. Oh, some junior league drive keeping her busy. She's been feeding me out of cans. Hasn't fixed southern fried chicken or any of her other good dishes for ages. I'd like to get this second one a little more related to the backing. Would you mind moving the table back, please? Oh, not at all. Now there, that's good. Now if you'll sit down again, please. Hold it. That's fine. Now, one standing up, if you don't mind, sir. Oh, I don't mind at all. <laughs> I'm getting a real boot out of this. All right, this is a tape. There, that does it. Thank you, sir. 
Uh, about the fee. Oh, send it to a charity. Yes, sir. I'd like to have the model show you those Duval dresses, but I don't know where she could have gone. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll drop in again. Oh, well, that's very decent of you. Oh, he's always generous with my time. Come on, we might as well get back to the office. Thanks again for posing, Mr. Uh... Uh, glad to oblige. Just send me copies of the prints. I will. Now, what in the world could have happened to that girl? She almost lost a hand. That's what happened. What? Who said that? Who's under there? Honest, mister, there's nobody under here but us southern fried chickens. Oh, wonderful dinner, honey. One of your old-time extra specials. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Southern fried chicken. I was talking to Mr. Honeywell about it only today. How did you guess that's what I wanted? You don't know how close I am to you sometimes, Dad. In spirit, that is. Oh, yes, yes, I guess that's it. Hold on there. I want payment for that dinner. Well, all right. What's the catch? Advice. Well, that's letting me off easy. It isn't even advice for me. It's for a friend of mine. You see, her father isn't... Well, he isn't the understanding type that you are. Understanding. Distinguished. Well, this is definitely my day. Did I tell you about the photographer saying that I was... You told me the minute you came in the door. Oh. Hmm. Well, what's troubling this friend of yours? My friend? Oh, oh, my friend. Well, she's sort of interested in this fellow who doesn't know she's on Earth. Oh, she wants to catch his attention. Well, there's always the old one, jealousy. Has she tried that? Well, that wouldn't work out. She only sees him in business. He's never even asked for a date. Oh, only sees him in business. <laughs> you know, Margie, for a minute I thought you were talking about yourself, but only seeing him in business rules that one out. <laughs> Well, Dad, what's this friend of mine going to do? Honey, one emotion often leads to another. Hmm. And one sure way to make a man conscious of you is to make him angry. Good and angry. That just might work. Well, it, it usually does. Well, I guess I'll run over to the club. Well, this isn't your regular night. I know it, but I just happen to feel like dropping in anyway. Ah, uh, you want to tell all the boys that the photographer said you were the perfect type for the Distinguished Gentleman series. That isn't it at all. Are you sure? Absolutely. I've already told them about that on the phone. Now I want to see how they're taking it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting good and mad, hmm? Hercules? Margie, listen, you remember what you were telling me about? Well, I've decided to do it. Right. You go ahead and make all the arrangements. Good night. Everyone in the trades is going to hear about this. Good. I can't wait. I saw her, these, the Duval new looker in a store window wearing the acrobat's trousers. Oh, take it easy. Take it easy. There's no time for the take it easy. Are you sure it was the same girl? I am of a certainty it is too late to stop the magazine layouts. Now, you get her out of there. Je vous sortez, je vous frappez, je vous procevrai en justice all the way to the Supreme Court. Don't worry, I'll get her out of there all I right. I have informed my bankers of this. This is a breach of her contract with you, a breach of your contract with me, a breach of... I told you I'll get her out of there and I will. 
I have a hunch this isn't going to be as easy as you think it is. What do you mean? Well, she's only doing this so you'll notice her. Notice her? How blind can a man be? Look, Cleve, Margie has sort of a crush on you. She has? And the way you've been calling her Miss Who's It, not remembering her name, it's made her mad. And the sore you get now, the more she's liable to stick to it. You may be right. Phone our lawyer and have him get out an injunction. An injunction? Well, we had to do this with a model once before. How long does it take this injunction? Oh, he has to draw up the papers, then reach a judge. It only takes a few hours. A few hours? And a few hours, I'm ruined. I'm a laughing stock. I'll take her up to the Pine Lake cabin and keep her there till you get word to me that the injunction is in force. Right. Now, don't worry. One way or another, I'll get her out of that window. Mr. Phelps, please. I'm calling for Mr. Cleve Harrison. All right, I'll wait. We got your message, Mr. DeVal. I'm so happy to see you. Well, what happened? She is in the window. Who is? The Duval New Look girl playing acrobats in Stacy's window. Come, I'll show you. Job. Margie, don't you realize you can't do this? So you do know my name. You've got to get out of there right away. Naughty, naughty. Do you realize you signed a contract that I have to approve every job you take? Yes, and I'd advise you to study the signature so that you'll remember the name. A contract is a contract. And a broken contract is a broken contract. Lois said you might be doing this to make me notice you. I might be. Well, I'm noticing you. We'll take a nice long drive in the country and maybe talk things over. It's beautiful, bait, but not for this mouse. Yeah, I've got a cabin at Pine Lake. Maybe we could have dinner and talk things out? Tempting her and tempting her. And the answer is still no. Hercules needs another prop. Don't go away. I'll be back and we'll play some more tag. Kevin, can you just stand there? Help me out of here. Everything under control? We got her out just before we got there. For which I am very thankful. Mr. Duval, if you'll forgive my saying so, I think you're inclined to get a little too excited about these things. Is something like that is a something to get excited about? Nothing is worth getting excited about. Mad. All Americans are mad. <laughs> Isn't Mr. Harrison coming back here with the young lady? Might be a smart idea. We had a chance to talk with her and throw a scare into her. Well, Cleve was going to try to hold her at his cabin at Pine Lake till the injunction goes through. Smart idea. That's the way to handle things, Mr. Duval. Calmly. Come. From the mood Cleve was in, I'd say that he could handle throwing a scare into her all by himself. Ha, I can't say that I blame him. Well, some of the prints in the Duval theories are ready. Would you like to see them? Oh, might as well while we're here. And he's bullying her in a mountain cabin? Uh, Mr. Honeywell, it's her. Who's her? Margie! Come on! Where's that mountain cabin? At the end of West Mountain Road. And this is how American businessmen act when they come. 
Did Margie come up here? Who were those two men in the hall? They almost knocked me down. They were my bankers. Well, what was the big hurry? I think they went up to Mr. Harrison's mountain cabin to help him bully the model. What? Now, he's come too. So you won't have to run back for the address. It is... I've been there. Well, if that is how one does, that is how one does. And that's really the only reason you did it? Sure it is. It's very bad for a girl's morale to have a man stare at her day after day and not even be aware that she's there. But I was aware of you. I was aware of you every minute. In fact, I've never been so aware of any woman before. Now, let's not try to make up too much lost time all at once. We are alone here, you know. Sorry. Furthermore, I, I'm not sure I believe you. Why not? Well, I don't think a person can be very aware of a girl if he doesn't even remember her name. Oh, that. Well, it's no small thing. Oh, I didn't mean, oh, that, that. I meant, oh, that, that. <laughs> that makes it clear as mud. Well, the point is, I never remember anybody's name. It's kind of a mental block. I forget names because I hate them. But why? Well, my mother was always an enthusiast. And? Just before I was born, she'd been reading a book on the presidents. What's wrong with that? My full name is Grover Cleveland Washington McKinley Tyler Harrison. What? Those were her favorites. No wonder you hate names. At that, it's, it's got kind of a rhythm. Grover Cleveland Washington McKinley Tyler Harrison. It does sound a little like a... Like a guided tour of a public library. <laughs> well, now you know why. I understand. Let's talk about something else. You know, that Indian black, it's very becoming to you. Well, thank you, sir. But, uh... Gives me an idea for a portrait study. Captive Indian maiden. Would you pose for it? All right. I owe you something for all the trouble I've caused you. But then we have to get back to town. Okay. These stones would look like the walls of a fort in a close shot. And I have some props in a chest over here. Ah, here's what I'm looking for. Mind if I hit you to this? Anything for art. That's not quite right. That's it, leg irons. I've got some skid chains in the shed. We can fake it with them. Now, wait right here, will you? What else can I do? <laughs> you want me to unshackle you? No, that's all right. Just don't be long. All right. Kill him for that. Dad! Oh, oh, you poor little thing. But, Dad, you don't understand. It isn't the way it looks. Oh, don't talk, honey. You must be in a state of shock. Uh, but... It's, it's a stock. Yeah, let me get it. You don't understand, uh, Dad. The fiends. It's all right, Margie. I'll save you. Hercules, no! Stop! Oh! oh Hercules, you don't know what you mean. Hercules! Let's get out of here. <laughs> I found it, Margie. It... Holy Toledo! Margie, what happened? What are they doing here? Well, I'm a little hazy about that myself, but I know what's going to happen to me when poor Dad comes too. <laughs> what? Well, Margie, that photographer fellow hasn't been around recently. Is there anything wrong? Oh, him. Oh, what do you mean, oh, him? Mm, nothing, I guess. But, Dad, if you were a girl, which would you rather have, your hand held or your picture took? Oh, I, I see what you mean. Well, <laughs> that's my little Margie. <laughs> <laughs>